Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, welcome to the technical analysis of the Forex market from the forexpsami.com. Uh, today uh, we will talk about the Australian dollar. Well, mm, I have chosen the Australian dollar because we uh, haven't talked about it about for a long time. And currently it has very nice patterns that is forming on almost any time frames. That makes me think that Austra um, Australian dollar will be bullish during the... Mm, nearest couple weeks or maybe single week but in general I expect some continuation of the move to the upside on the Aussie in the coming week at least okay uh, also I want to know that uh, Australian dollar has important patterns as on the monthly weekly time frames that uh, post on the forexpsami.com forum so if you are interested with it I suggest you to visit this our our page this forum and to read this analysis because in the daily video we will talk only about the daily time frames and the lower time frames for our uh, time frame so let's start with the daily chart of the Australian dollar also take a note that this is the futures chart of the Australian dollar and the quotes will be a bit different from the spot market but I think I suppose that you will be able to build the same patterns on your charts spot market okay let's take a look on the brief picture of the Australian dollar first of all we can see that this bearish range is forming currently on the market daily trend on Friday has shifted to the bullish so currently trend is bullish on the daily time frame also take a look that market during whole February held has held above the monthly pivot point and stands on the range between monthly pivot point and monthly pivot resistance one it's right here so it's nice moderately bullish sign on the market also take a look at this pattern a b c bottom 618 target stands just above the previous highs so if market will reach this area the stops will be triggered that has been placed just above the b point and this will add more to the further move to the upside so i think that this high will not hold in the nearest future I expect some acceleration to the upside move on the um, daily time frame of the Australian dollar. Just above the market around 1.025 stands the daily overbought of the market and it's almost near the upper border of the wedge. Also around 1.033 area is weekly monthly period resistance to rather deep resistance and just for information I should warn you that in the area around 1030 stands some important weekly targets and I think that sh they should be hidden by the market in the nearest future okay now let's take a look at another picture of the daily time frame this is the recent swing on the daily time frame and you can see that nice butterfly sale pattern is forming currently the target of this butterfly nearest expansion 127 stands around 1028 and 5 right here also take a look at this pattern A, B, C bottom the 100% expansion stands around 1033 roughly ok just above the market also note that 127 target coincides with the daily overbought so this will be the first target that we should expect on the daily time frame also 130 area as I said is the area where some uh, weekly target stands okay so this will be a nice area of resistance and I think that market should reach it in the nearest perspective somewhere about if the speed of this upper move will hold in the nearest future it should happen during the next week also this target 618 from this recent ABC swing also stands above the previous highs so uh, like on the larger picture the daily time frame like right here from this ABC pattern 
this ABC pattern 618 target also stands above these highs, like shown on this picture. Okay, so the stop set has been, has been placed right here, just above this high, uh, has been placed in most unwelcome area because logical target is above the high, and it should trigger the stops and accelerate more to the upside. Well, from this perspective, I think that we should think how possess ourselves from the long term of the market. And I think that this recent swing from the C point is absolutely suitable for this purpose. So let's shift to the 4 hour chart and take a look at this swing in more details and where we can enter and possess ourselves on the long side of the market. This is here is the 4 hour chart of the Australian dollar. What do we see here? First of all, take a look at the 4 hour trend is bullish based on the MCD predictor indicator of this red line. Also there are two major era of supports. The first era is right here, the nearest support. One 0078 is nearest support and the most important support I think for the entering on the long side. I think that is mostly suitable area for this purpose. This is the 4 hour confluence support. One 0050 area roughly. It includes FIP supports, weekly pivot support one around 1.0052 also take a note that daily trend will hold bullish until this era. This is also the 4 hour level of oversold and 50% support from this strong bar to the upside. I think this is the perfect area for the entry on the long side. If it will be broken, market will move below the weekly pivot point. Then possibly uh, we should search for the another possibility for enter on the long side. This will be not very nice move for the bulls. And I think that this area should hold. The conservative stop order could be placed just below the weekly period support one, 9975 area right here. Aggressive stop could be placed just below this area of confluence. For example, below the level of four hour oversold. It's below 10040, around 10035, for example, will be not suitable area. Okay, because if market will break this area, it will mean that it's not so strong. Because I think that daily trend should remain bullish and market should hold above this area. Of course, it could show some piercing of this area to clear some stops below it, but in general, this area should hold and for the boost uh, scenario uh, will intact. Okay, so that's my point of view on the current situation on the uh, Aussie dollar. I think that it has very bullish buys for the nearest term and 10050 area is very suitable for an enter on the long side. Stop could be placed just below conservative stop could be placed just below 9975. Aggressive stop should be placed below 10035 area just below the level of a robot. Okay if you do not have the oscillator predicting uh, indicator you can look at this strong bar and place stop just below for example, these highs that has been before this bar. This will be the aggressive step order. Okay. So I just want to repeat that I have the um, bullish bias on the Australian dollar because very uh, different bullish patterns is forming on the um, different time frames from weekly to uh, four hour chart. Well, uh, the target of this possible move, I think that will be one o twenty five one. 030 area roughly. It's very nice move, very uh, good mm, risk reward ratio. So let's see how market will act in the beginning of the current week and see what happens.